So it was sunny, there was a bunch of people out there, it was, there was a lot of tourists, locals. We were walking along the harbor, just visiting all the shops that look into the harbor. And um, we heard what well, sounded like fireworks. It was just five consecutive bangs. And initially, um, everybody that I was with, they thought that it was just fireworks. We quickly realized that it was not fireworks at all. They were gunshots because of the way that people were running and screaming. From that moment, I made sure that we got back inside to get cover from the store that we were walking out of. Shortly after, everybody was undercover and I thought that they were safe. I looked up and right outside the store, a young man who was 17 years old had fallen off his bike and he was just laying there lifeless. I ran out of the store, um, not really thinking too much about what consequences I might endure because he obviously needed more help than I did. So I jumped on his body and started trying to feel for any wounds that he might have had. And that was when I felt that he had an entry wound in between his left lung and his waist. I managed to get his shirt off and I used his shirt to plug his wound. And then from there I was just crying out for help. After probably about 30 seconds, I lost his pulse. And around that time, a security guard had come by. He started helping me with compressions while I was monitoring his pulse the whole time. And then um, we ended up getting his pulse back. And this went on for about 10 minutes. We ended up just losing his pulse entirely. And then shortly after we lost it, the paramedics came and put him on a stretcher and took him away. Guardsmen take the same oath of office as active duty uh, reserve soldiers, uh, and that is to, to support and defend the Constitution. What's different from active duty, though, uh, is as a guardsman, we have the opportunity to serve the communities we live in. In my opinion, that means a little bit more, and that is to uphold certain civic virtues and values. When I say civic virtues and values, I mean, if you have the ability to support your fellow citizen in your community, you have the moral and ethical obligation to do so. And Sergeant Wilman embodied that completely. He left uh, the safety of a safe position to render aid to someone who cannot render aid to themselves. So what compelled me to leave the safety and try to administer help to him was, I guess, my instincts. I just didn't really think too much. My fiance was trying to keep me from going, but he needed, he needed some sort of help. So I had to, I felt like that was what I needed to do. When a new soldier enters the National Guard, they have two missions. One is to support the President of the United States by deploying to foreign territory and being a deterrent to our nation's enemies. The second mission is to support the governor of Indiana by activating and supporting our communities that we live in, whether it's a natural disaster, a pandemic, or any other state of emergency, guardsmen will deploy, be there, and be ready. My military training and experience definitely aided me in the way I responded because I've been in situations before in the past throughout my training where I had to learn how to react quickly and efficiently without any discrepancies. I think people should join the National Guard for the sense of camaraderie, additional training opportunities to better your resume, and the ability to serve your community at home and overseas. I think other people should join the Indian National Guard because I've had jobs in the past where I've had good co co-workers that end up being good friends, but in the military I've had good friends that end up being just family to me. The relationships just haven't been stronger anywhere else than in the military community.